Okay, welcome to another episode of Wayne's World Garage. We're going to have a little um, demonstration of the generator we installed several months ago. Um, sadly, we had to replace the water pump yesterday. Uh, it developed a slight leak, and after looking at it closely, it's because the shaft on it was a little bit rusty, and the, the rust probably uh, caused the seal to fail. So, memo to everybody, if they ever need to replace a water pump on one of these, you can buy them from somebody besides Cummings Onan. Cummings it is many hundreds of dollars, but it's a standard General Motors engine. It's a three liter engine, about 100 horsepower uh, in this configuration. Actually, maybe 60 because it runs on propane. But the water pump um, is also used in boats and it's also used in forklifts. The forklift version of it cost $129, so save yourself a nickel. But to replace the water pump is pretty straightforward. You take off this sheet metal right here, and it's a standard thing. The radiator comes off in four bolts. It's just like any old 67 Mustang or any other old car you have. It's not very hard to do. But let's go inside and get this thing started and run some amps in it. It's set up right now, so it exercises once a week. But right now, we're going to run a test. So to perform a test, you hold the test button in for one second, and that will initiate the generator starting. After the generator starts, it's got to run for... Um, a period of time till it sees a good load or good voltage. That's kind of cool. So let's push this button. One second. Things are clicking. Oh, clicking. That little click. There's a relay. Now, hopefully, we get a generator start up outside. And there you go. Now, what's going to happen? The voltage is stabilized. And once the voltage stabilizes, it's going to wait a little bit longer and it'll clonk over where it transfers power to the generator. And that's kind of cool. And I'm hoping that's going to show up on the, on the uh, camera here. I don't know if it will or not. There we are. So she just switched over to emergency power, and geez, we're drawing some current. I don't know if you can read it, we're drawing 26 and 15 amps. It'll look very good here on this because the way this thing works, but it's just a quick test. There you go. So here's this uh, 200 amp switch flipping over in slow motion. It's kind of cool to watch. Let's go check this out see how she's running it's hot outside it's 90 plus degrees out and uh, we're a little bit spoiled here so we've got the uh, air conditioning on in the house and we've also got um, two Mitsubishi split units running in the shops so it keeps it kind of cool here at least dry and it's it's quite pleasant the nice thing about this generator um, is it's built well new um, twelve and a half thousand dollars but I didn't pay that much for it I bought it used a bunch of years old it's quite enough you could be right here pretty much talking to it um, but let's take a peek and see what things look like inside well, I replaced the water pump and I replaced the, um, the thermostat so she's around about 155 now it's a 160 degree thermostat I'm not sure why they run 160 but he seems to be happy with 160 degree thermostat. And, uh, that's the way it goes. Oil pressure looks good. Not much else going on. 